It is the oldest surviving piece of furniture still used for its original purpose, so it's incredibly rare. The coronation chair is extremely fragile. It has a complex layer structure, which means that the gilding layers on it often flake off. So a lot of my work at the moment is sticking those layers of gilding back down and making sure it's completely sound before the coronation. So in uh, 1296, Edward I commissioned the chair to be made to contain the Stone of Schoon, which had been brought down from Scotland. And it's been used for every coronation of an English monarch, with a few exceptions since then. It's decorated with punch work, which is um, small, tiny dots that we use to create images. So there's birds, there's figures of saints and kings, and there's lots of foliage as well. And because so little survives of English art from that time, it really is a, an exquisite example of the quality of craftsmanship that doesn't survive anymore. In the 18th and 19th century, in particular, a lot of graffiti was carried out, sadly, upon the chair. Um, the graffiti is mainly on the seat and in the upper part of the back of the chair, probably because they would have either knelt to graffiti the seat or sat in the chair and turned around to graffiti the top. So a lot of people, unfortunately, have sat in the chair. In 1914, a bomb was hung from one of the pinnacles and set off probably by the suffragettes. It blew that pinnacle off and um, displaced a couple of the panels and caused some damage to the gilding. There's been various attempts at theft of the stone and an actual theft of the stone, which also have caused scrapes and damages and breaks. I feel proud that I worked on the chair on the day of the coronation. I'm going to feel relieved <laughs> when it's over and everything is still where it should be. Um, it's, it's an exciting time and it's a real privilege to be a part of it.